The year is 1941 and the Germans have just invaded the USSR. And they're gonna be packing some artillery as well as sniper squads. Of course, it goes without saying, loads and loads and loads of panzers, entire infantry battalions with heavy machine guns, and of course, all of them are going to be in winter clothing. Now, the Russian defenders have been caught off guard. What you can see is some anti-tank guns as well as an anti-tank rifle. And then the same thing down the back right here, and these guys are gonna be defending. We've also got a bunch of very passionate paratroopers for the Russians who are just going to charge in. And then the same thing goes over here. We got a bunch more paratroopers who are just going to run in and try and stop the Blitzkrieg. But this is the majority of the Russian force. The USSR has been caught off guard. They were ill prepared. And of course, that means we are back in the Tabs Unit Creator with some more World War II battles. Let's get this show on the road. Let's see what the Panzers can do. I want to see a big shot right here. Come on, is that going to hit anyone? Oh, direct it. Oh, that is absolutely brutal right into the middle of that entire squad. Let's see. Okay, some of them still getting in though. And the paratroopers absolutely throwing themselves on close quarters. And the panzer is down just like that. That did not take long. The other panzer out on the front line again being taken down by those paratroopers. And the artillery over on the other side. Oh my god, look at that rocket. No, it was a miss. It was a miss. Paratroopers just flying in here. They're a lot more mobile than they were in real life. But this is a totally accurate battle simulator and we don't have to obey the laws of physics in here. There's also some kidnappings going on. Look at that guy there. See you later. Okay, but over on this side here, it looks to me like the Germans are doing pretty well. They've managed to shut down most of those paratroopers, but I will say the rest of the Russian forces are actually slowly moving up here as well. I'll tell you what though, those paratroopers are actually really, really, really dangerous. Some normal Russian infantry moving up here, some artillery and rocket launchers coming down on these guys as well, and they are not going to be alive for very much longer. But I've got to say, it does actually look like a fairly balanced battle. We got some Germans back here, but we've also still got quite a lot of Russians left over. This really could go either way right here. Okay, as I said, that a bunch of the Russians just died in one go. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, the Germans definitely taking the upper hand here. But that being said, we've only got like five or six more German units, but they do still have their artillery, but it looks like their artillery is getting taken out at long range. Let's see if it can do anything. Oh my god, it almost got that guy, but he had some sort of ninja-like response. Come on, can this guy pull it off? Oh, just like that. The double kill right there, but this guy just got absolutely wrecked. But these are the final few Russian units holding out. I don't think they're going to be able to take him down. Let's see if this guy can do anything right here. Fire! Come on! Come on! No! The Russians did get defeated. They were not ready for the Blitzkrieg. Last time, the Russians were caught off guard, but this time it is not going to happen. As you can see, they have dug themselves a trench, and they are ready for a fight. So they've got all these guys along here dug into the trench. Same thing goes over here. And then the USSR also has has a bunch of cover fire from the back in the form of anti-tank rifles and also artillery and also anti-tank guns. And that is going to be firing straight over the hill. These guys are all going to be on defend, but this time the Germans are charging up to take that trench. This is basically a World War One trench charge. As you can see right here, these flags, these guys are going to absolutely bomb it to try and get into that trench. We've also got some Panzer Shreks. Oh, boys, big heads here. Let's go. The Germans are definitely going to win this one, boys. Big head has arrived. We've also got three three panzers. We got some snipers chilling down the back. And of course, we have our trusty, nice-looking officer back here. I mean, you've got to trust a man with a mustache like that. But before we start this battle, if you're enjoying this totally accurate battle simulator video and you have not subscribed to the channel, head down below, hit that subscribe button. And then by the end of the video, if you still hate me, feel free to unsubscribe from the channel. But if you like tabs and you like World War II videos, then this is a channel that you might enjoy. So hit that subscribe button. As you can imagine, this battle's probably going to be over quite quickly, given the proximity of all the these units. I mean, look at the amount of bullets flying off already. These trenches, man. Oh my god. These guys are getting shot out of their trench. Their trench just isn't quite deep enough. It's covering like their knees and below. But this guy's probably not going to die because look at the size of his chest. I don't think a bullet could even reach his heart through there. But let's speed things up ever so slightly. Just see what's going to go on here. Okay, look at that. The tank rounds are going over the back. Somehow the anti-tank guns have actually survived that though, but they really need to return fire. And look at that. The tanks are actually exploding loading, possibly going to fall into the trench. This guy has gone absolutely sailing. And look at the devastation over this side of the map. The tank is about to actually charge over this trench. Oh no, he's going to flatten everyone. He's literally flattening the entire squad. I don't believe it. This is going to be a pretty convincing victory. Let's speed things up here and just see what we can see. Actually, I'll tell you what, it's not looking as clean cut as it originally was. I mean,
mean, the artillery just absolutely demolishes anything in these trenches. But we've still got quite a lot of Russian units that have somehow survived back here. And the Russian officer as well is still alive here as well. Although maybe not for very long. But if you look, there's actually not that many Germans back here. There's really not that many left of them. I thought this was going to be a much cleaner win for the Germans than it actually has been so far. I thought this battle was going to be over in a matter of seconds. But oh, did you see that sniper shot? Oh my good lord, the Russians actually won that one. Okay, unbelievably, I'm going to have to put down some more German units. I thought that was like a certain victory. All right, boys, there's now even more German units down here. Hopefully, these big meaty lads are going to hold the front line because this guy's hopefully going to sponge all the bullets here and keep the guys behind him who you can see are diving around back here to try and miss the shots. Look at the bullet exchange here. It's absolutely ridiculous. Although what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to speed it up, hands off, and I'm just going to see what happens. This is why you have to slow motion when you're using the tabs unit creator because this game is just like like so quick, the battles would end in a matter of seconds, which would basically mean that my videos end up being like literally two minutes long a set. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. I only added in like seven or eight more units for the Germans, but look how different that battle was. Man, I've got to say I should start doing more World War II battles using the tabs unit creator because these are so fun. All right, in the next battle, the Germans have progressed all the way to Stalingrad. This is the battle for Stalingrad. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of Russian snipers all all over the buildings that go all the way along here. But we've also got a bunch of little ambushes laid down where these guys, once again, are just gonna go storm in with the Soviet flag and they're gonna try and defend the motherland and push back the Germans. We've also just got a bunch of standard dudes down here, kind of conscript SMGs and riflemen. And the officer is watching from a safe distance up in this building because he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. Now the Germans, once again, pushing up with their heavy units. They got their LMGs. They've actually managed to get one Panzer IV. And then we again have a German charge that's gonna meet those two Soviet charges. We've got some snipers down the back. We, of course, have our handsome looking general and a couple of officers either side him. And oh my god, his big head again! What are the chances? No wonder the Germans are winning this. Because as we know, big head is OP. Look at him. Look at him. He must have so much brain inside there. All right, guys, let's start things off nice and slow. Oh no, the tank is already aimed down these guys. No! The ambush has not worked. That guy's already been sailing out of the map. See you later, sunshine. And how are the rest of them doing? The rest of them seem to have kind of taken it in good spirit, to be honest, which all things considered, I respect. Oh my god, they've been cut down so badly. So have these guys. Oh my god, what's going on? They're getting absolutely annihilated here. Oh, but some of the Germans just jumped into the water. See you later, mate. See you later. Let's just see these guys as they pass on through into the afterlife. All right, thanks for joining us, boys. See you later. Look, they're fighting on their way down. <laughs> I respect respect it, gentlemen. I respect it. All right, lads. It looks like the tank is down over here, and it looks like... Oh, there's some German paratroopers. They're not quite doing what they're supposed to, though. I think this one's just holding onto a corpse. But let's see. It looks like the majority of the conscripts back here have been taken out, but the snipers are still going strong. The snipers could be the turning point in this battle, but let's see how much damage they can actually do. No, look at that. The Germans are getting in. The Dalingrad is going to fall. Where's Big Head? Is Big Head still alive? Yes, he is. Of course he is. Let's go, Big Head. Come on, don't die now. Could you imagine if he dies now? No, look at that. The covering fire. Yes, Big Head is calling in an artillery strike. Let's go. Okay, it looks like we're about to have a fight on the staircase up this building here where all these snipers and the general are all hiding. It's about to get messy in here, boys. It is about to get very messy. Oh, no. They're making their way up any second now. They're gonna get around the corner. Oh, boys, this is not looking good for the Russians. And the Russian officer has found himself caught off guard and literally one shot and he's dead. And the other sniper Sniper just got plugged right in front of the camera. That was perfect camera placement. Absolutely excellent stuff. But there you go. Alternative history in World War II. Stalingrad has fallen to the Germans. But the Russians are not going to go down without a fight. Papa Stalin has been hard at work. And he has been churning out T-34s and KV-1 like his life depends on it. Probably because his life does actually depend on it. This is arguably one of the biggest turning points in World War II on the Eastern Front. This is the Battle of Kursk. Now for the Battle of Kursk, numbers differ depending on what you're looking at, but this was the biggest tank battle in human history. There were over 5,000, some even claim 7,000 Russian tanks fielded in this one battle, as well as an additional 2,500 German tanks, and this isn't even including guns, infantry, anything like that. So we're going to see if the Germans can carry on their victory spree, or if this is going to fall back in line with World War II and be a turning point in this campaign once again. We got Panzer 3s, Panzer 4s, Panthers, we got King Tigers, Tigers, Sturmgeschwader, 
parachutes. We got the whole lot. They are going head to head against these Russian vehicles right here. Oh no, there's a bit of team killing going on. Oh God. But look, it looks like the Russians are just advancing at a crazy rate in here. Look at this, the Russian tide of men. But look at this cluster here, boys. Oh no, look at this. There's just so many tanks dead. Oh man. There's so much Russian infantry back here though, but they are all just cheesy little conscript boys. To be honest, I'm actually impressed that all of them even have weapons. And this actual pile on of tanks, actually arguably historically accurate. This kind of thing was actually documented to happen in the Battle of Kursk. Tanks were actually ramming one another for kills. It's actually crazy. If you don't know the Battle of Kursk, look it up. All right, boys, let's go full speed and see what's going to happen here. Oh, look, no, it just looks to me like the Russian T-34s are in the back line and they're just flattening everyone. Oh, this tank just clotheslined like six guys by spinning his turret. Oh, but it's a finally being put down. So what we have now is we have an infantry battle. Let's see. Oh, we've also still got some artillery from the Germans. Let's see if this can do anything. Oh, good night. See you later, mate. Thank you for trying, but your services are no longer required. Okay, let's go full speed. It looks like the Russians have the numerical advantage. It does look like they're definitely winning over on this side here, but it just depends if the German troops are just a little bit better prepared, a little bit better trained, and are more up for the fight. Let's see what happens here. It still could go either way. I'm not going to make this go historically accurate. Whoever wins this battle wins this battle. And boys, it looks to me like the Germans are going to bag it. The superior trained, better equipped German soldiers right here are about to take down the final Russian conscript goes down. And continuing on with this alternative history from World War II, the Germans are knocking at Moscow's door, but this time they might actually take it. So these right here are all of the Germans we have. They have actually just landed. They are just entering Moscow. You can see they are ready for a fight. They also have their dudes down here commanding them. And these are the Russian defenders. You can see they, they will be defending every single rooftop. They're going to be fighting through every single street and they are not going to give the Germans an inch without a fight. There's more up here. There's also a bunch of snipers chilling up in this tower who I've got to say do look pretty cool. And then again, there's these guys back here and right at the back of the map, they also have their artillery and this is their officer unit and the Germans are not going to win until they kill all of the units, including this guy right here. All right, let's get this show on the road then. Let's see if these guys can break out. Ooh, hoo, 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 that was a big hit. There's grenades, there's artillery, there's bazookas. Look at that sniper shot. He's been pinned to the wall. Look at this guy as well. Oh no, the Russian charge just got here, but they've already been stopped. But let's see, these guys are actually quite good. Look at that. But the artillery is just going to be too much for them to handle. And also just look how many German units there are here. There's so, whoa, what is shooting that? Something just shot about 9 million bullets. Was it just this PPSA? Man, the rate of fire on that was brutal. Also, what's happened to this guy right here? Mate, you're not being much help. I'm not going to lie. He's not the only one. This guy's decided to do it as well. All right, let's speed things back up and see if the Germans can win World War II. Like I said, this is going to be a street to street fight. They're going to have to fight their way through the whole thing. And every single time they're going to be encountering more and more defensive positions like this one right here, which is going to really actually do a lot of damage. If you look down here, once this guy opens up, he's going to get some seriously good shots down there. Let's see, how's the sniper tower doing? Oh, excellent. Professional sniper right here. This guy's having a real rough time. This guy's trying to jump out as well, but hasn't quite managed it. This guy right here, at least he managed it. Look, he's just floating in the water. But let's see where our guys have got up to. It looks like we had some German snipers trying to push around the corner here, which I wouldn't recommend. Okay, the Germans are pushing up in here. Actually, one thing that could be valuable is this guy right here. If he calls down some artillery, that could actually be what they need to clear out this section. There we go. Look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. In those little sections like that, where normally they would just be unable to actually attack from with without just getting choke pointed, that was actually really, really good. They've also cleared out this corridor. These MG42s actually earning their weight in gold right here, clearing out this corner. And again, I just spotted this guy who hasn't moved. More artillery coming down. This defensive position right here is going to get overrun any second. Also, guy's going to be able to shoot in from the side. It looks to me like Moscow is going to fall, though. There's a lot of German troops still left. And Stalin has barely any protection down the back here. Look at him. He is waiting for it. Yeah, look at this. The Germans are managing to push in. In fact, they're actually throwing themselves around the corner. Even the German general is here. Look at him. He's come in here with his glorious mustache, ready to fight. And he's got angry. Man, I've never seen an officer. I've never seen a general, rather, fight like this.
this before. And he's dead. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Every single time I say something, that always happens. But Lee's down here seem to be the last few Russian units that we've got left. And the Germans are actually going to be creeping in from all corners now. But the Germans actually might have just run out of steam at the very last second. They've only got a couple LMGs back here. And then a couple units that are kind of just mincing around down here as well. But that's actually it. The MG42s have moved up. But for some reason, the range on them is absolutely abysmal also. That's definitely not how you hold it. I mean, there's also some more MG42s back here actually just snaking back in a corner. Look at the state of these guys. This is a very brave soldier right here. He deserves some sort of a medal. He just walked into literally three MG42s. So let's just see if this guy... Oh, hold on. Oh, look, he's dropped another one. Okay, no, he's not dead though yet. I don't think... I don't know. Is he... Yes, he is dead. One single unit left for the Russians. One single unit left. Oh, no, the MG42s have actually decided to get up and do something. I can't believe I never thought I'd see the day. Also, even this guy down the back here has decided to join the fight. Although, let's be honest, I'm not sure he's quite ready for it. Any second now, the Germans are about to win World War II. Unfortunately, that guy who has just joined the fight is incapable of actually aiming, but he is a stormtrooper after all, so it does kind of make sense. Oh, that guy wasn't the last unit? Where's the last unit then? Oh, of course, it's probably this guy up here, isn't it? For God's sake. Okay, unfortunately, this battle's a stalemate, so the Germans have won it because this is the last unit right here who is immobilized for the Russians. And let me just very quickly count for you why these LMG units are so bad. We have one, two, and three units doing absolutely nothing. We also have this hero who's been here the entire game who could finish the battle, but I cannot get to move. So I am going to call that a German victory. They've got four units that for just for some reason can't move, and the Russians only have one unit. So there we have it. Tabs has told us that the Germans have won World War II. But just a reminder, head down below, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Tabs videos. And whilst you're there, it'd be awesome if you can drop a like and a comment because it really helps this video go out to more people. But thank you very much for watching. I will catch you again next time.